Just a quick view of the bottles. They're all gonna look like a barrel made of the wood. They always have the description on the top. Definitely a nice little story about it. Uh, St. Arnold's definitely one of the oldest breweries, original craft brewery in Houston. So I, they know what they're doing. Okay, I have something very special today. Uh, a few of them have been out. This is the 22nd one. I don't know if anybody knows it's out yet. It's been out. Uh, the ones that are already ahead of the game, good for you. These are each crafted differently and specifically and then released each year. So a lot of them are already done and just sitting in a barrel, just collecting beautiful flavor. But all the recipes will be different, so be careful because the first couple I had were stouts and they were amazing. And I jumped the number, it was a 20 or it was a sour ale and it ooh, took me to, for a ride. But uh, they're best if you pour them. This one's special. It's a Saison Ale Asian Chardonnay Barrels, which is a wine barrel, just in case anybody doesn't know for any reason. Uh, they did put peaches, apricots, and they used a special uh, yeast, Breton Namesis, if I say it correctly. Bretonamesis. It's a non-sporing one, so I guess it affects the way um, it brews it and how it feels since it's non-sporous. But it's highly used. It's uh, common, and they're specifically letting you know that you're using it for this one. So, using a smaller glass for splitting this one. Uh, it's a single bottle. They sell between six to like fifteen dollars, depending how popular the style is and how much uh, how much it gets vamped up. So this pours a little smaller, looking nice and yellow. Let me see. Ooh, slightly funk, almost pineapple-y, even though it has all those other uh, fruit in, in it. You can get different um, notes of scent. The scent will not always match the taste, but it's a very good route to how it's gonna taste. Oh, let me see what you get on this one. What do you smell in there? All right. You got the apricot. Yeah, guava, pineapple-y. Very, very light tropical for sure. I get that. Heavy head, because it's been sitting in the barrel, getting flavor. You get that hint of the Chardonnay in there, right? In the background. Where's the pineapple's coming through? So, yeah, she said the pineapple. Like tart, like oh, yeah. It's definitely a little tart. So, it's gonna be like a sour beer. Be careful, but it's very enjoyable. It's very light. It's very palate cleansing. So, this could be in between beers. Like you're gonna go from a light to heavy. This will clean you out, re excite your taste buds, and get you back on track. I'm using my blue out glass because it's smaller. So, since I'm splitting the glass, but you can clearly see this beautiful color. St. Arnold's has a couple of them. There's a cherry sour one. Uh, I think that's number 20. And then there's a, the Bishop's Reserve, which is a very heavy ale, but it's so good. So much flavor. Uh, I do say check them out, pick one, try one out, and see if it's something you get into. Salute on that.